What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Today, we are up against Sebastian, who's bringing a really cool, intimidating team. I'm not a big fan of him bringing the Groudon, but we're going to try to go through with it as, as best as we can, at least. Um, now, Sebastian is bringing um, a Regirock, a really unique Pokemon, in my opinion. Cinderace, a threatening Pokemon. And Salamence. The other two Pokemon um, that I have not mentioned, the Gengar and the Primarina, are really threatening too. Don't get me wrong. But I'm more concerned about the other Pokemon. They're really underrated. Make sure you guys leave a... Well, first of all, leave a like on this video. Because it's going to be a good Wi-Fi battle. I can already feel it. Make sure that you guys check out the last Wi-Fi battle. I'm not starting Ferrothorn. I'm starting Lycanroc in case he starts the Cinderace. But make sure you guys check out the last Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. I believe it was number 62. No. 63 by the time you're watching this but um no yeah 63 i don't know why i got so sidetracked or confused with that but make sure you guys check those um i had two wi-fi battles on that video so make sure you guys go check those out i can't even talk because of the excitement right now it's gonna be a good battle even though he has ground on it's gonna be a really good battle i like your is that ice cube what jacket is that you're bringing out the game guard to start things off I believe I outspeed it by 10 points. And because of that, I honestly want to hit the Psychic Fangs to start things off. If this thing is carrying the, carrying the, um, the Focus Sash, then I'm a little bit in trouble. He has the Focus Sash. I did not want to lose Lycan Rock like this. Ah, this isn't good. Curse Body, Disable Psychic Fangs, and Energy Ball. I'm going down. I'm probably going down here. I'm not going down. Forget that. You know what I'm going to do? I, <laughs> Barathorn? I don't know. I'm gonna go Drapion here. Drapion, Drapion, Drapion. You know what I'm saying, right? I'm gonna go Drapion here. Just cuz, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the knockoff on this thing. An energy ball isn't gonna knock us out. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit him with the knockoff. There you go. Really good start off to this battle. More or less. I mean, we knocked out a Pokemon. But in return, um, we took a lot of damage on Lycanroc and a little bit on Drapion. So it's another Cursed Body trade. Another one. I don't know how I feel about that. That's two 30% chances right there. So yeah, um, what, what was something I wanted to talk about really quick? What was something I wanted to talk about? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it'll come back to me though. I'm pretty sure it will come back to me. Okay, Groudon comes out here. I think I have, I'm not packing Earthquake, I lied. That's a, that's a shame. Drought comes into play here. I really wanna hit this thing with a knockoff. I'm 99% sure. Oh, I forgot about that. Instead, I'm gonna go Ferrothorn. I know this thing has Eruption, and if it goes Eruption, then um, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I, let's just say I'm in a bad spot. So here comes the Ferrothorn. Perceptive, but perceptive. I, I don't remember how to call that. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, Groudon. Oh, I dropped my remote. Hold up. I dropped my remote. Okay. So Stealth Rock is going to be pretty crucial. I think it's time to set up the Stealth Rock. Go Lava Plume. I knew it. We're dead. We're going down. No way we're living that. I know it was too good to be true. And Slacking probably won't be able to live an attack from this thing, right? Yeah, no way. No way. I mean, Drill Run, uh, I forgot this thing isn't a fire type anymore. It's just a pure ground. I think I want to go Drapion. Drapion. Drapion Sloking. Drapion Sloking. Ah, uh, this is hard. I'm going to go Drapion. And we're going to knock whatever item this thing has. I don't know what item this thing has. I think it's a Heat Rock. I, it doesn't make sense for him to have a heat rock though. All right, knock off. Here we go. Here we go. Just knock it off. Boom. Pretty good defense, of course. It's not gonna. A soft sand. Interesting. Don't hit me with the. Yup. Persepi. I don't know. I don't remember how to call Persepie per blades. Persepie. I think it's Persepie, right? I don't remember. Okay, next Pokemon that we are going to be bringing out is going to be the Sloking. Lycanroc is still very valuable to me, given that he has the Cinderace out in the back. And same thing with the Salamat. So, we're going to bring in the Salt King out, and we're going to go ahead and hit the Scald. Oh, Groudon's just punching through my team. I bet you this guy feels really good because he's bringing Groudon. 
Which draws Groudon, rightfully so. Who are you bringing out? Pre Marina. It's good and bad. Mostly good because we're we're a salt vest. Can we get a burn? That does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Pre Marina has better special defense than defense, and this is why I'm running Psych Shock for situations like these. Let's say we go up against a Blissey. Oh, I forgot this thing gets energy ball. It does nothing. Oh, we good. We 100% good. We're gonna side shock here. Hopefully, it does a, a really good amount of damage on this. It does. I should be able to knock out with one more, I think. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. I still don't know how I'm gonna get rid of the ground. I'm gonna take one more energy ball, and then we might switch out of here. I don't know yet. I don't know. I honestly don't want to switch into Charizard. That's the worst thing that can happen to us. I really hope that this... Um, Oh, energy ball it is. That's the, that's the right move. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. Okay, and then side shock. Here we go. One more time. It knocks it out. Thank goodness, because now I can switch into something else, depending on what he goes to. I think I might need to sack off the Pikachu. As much as I don't want to sack off the Pikachu, I think I have to. I don't want to, but I have to. Great. Reggie Rock comes out. I don't think I'm in, in shape to stay in. Oh, that Iron Tail is so tempting, though. That Iron Tail is tempting. Um, do I need slow, slow King? Not really. I think Slow King did its job. We're gonna Scald. We're gonna Scald. I outspeed this thing. That's amazing. Can I get a burn? Burn it, please. Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. No. Thunderbolt. There you go. Do wow, Slow King. You are pretty thick. I'm, I'm switching out next turn, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm doing pretty good against this. Not gonna lie. I'm doing better than I think I am. The battle! He canceled the battle. And it's just gonna stay like this? We're gonna do another Wi-Fi battle here. Let's go! I cannot believe my opponent rage quit from the Slow King. That is amazing. Do I, I don't get any black lines, right? I do not get any black lines. Okay. Now, um, we are against Lust this time around. He's bringing a Blissey, so I'm glad I'm bringing the Slow King with the Psy Shock. He's bringing the Toxapex. Who is this dedicated lead, though? I think I want to start Ferrothorn regardless. Mostly because we can set up the rocks. Maybe Grimmsnarl is a start. And we can probably threaten the Grimmsnarl out. Ooh, Pikachu is a really good start against Grimmsnarl. Um, oh, there's so much I want to start with against this guy. Because if he starts Toxapex, we can start Pikachu off and threaten it. If he starts, um... At the same time, if he starts the Zolt, Rillaboom, or Cinderace, Pikachu's not in the best shape ever. And, um... Ah, oh, man. Because if I start Ferrothorn and he starts the Cinderace, then we're in the biggest trouble in the world. So we're gonna take into consideration that Cinderace, uh, start. If he starts Rillaboom, we're gonna switch into Ferrothorn. No, Pikachu. Yeah, Lycanroc is the best bet because if he brings in the Cinderace to start things off, then he can, I can honestly threaten it with the Excel Rock. And I think Excel Rock has a good chance to one shot it. As opposed, if he starts Cinderace and I start with something else, then Cinderace is going to beat my team up. So we're going to try to avoid that and we're going to try to beat Lust here tonight. I love that lead card Lust. It is absolutely beautiful. Number one versus number three. Who do you got? Who do you got? Let me know in the comment section down below. You look pretty fresh, my boy. Clorox comes out, Detoxapex, and this is why, this is honestly why I wanted to start Pikachu off. I had a good feeling he was gonna start with uh, Toxapex. Now, question is Drill Run? Yeah, Drill, Psychic Fangs is the better move. Psychic Fangs it is. Please knock this boy out. Nope, nope, I knew it was too good to be true. Toxic Spikes, um, it's a good thing I got Drapion. Now, does he have any dark types? I don't think he has dark types. So, he, uh, Baneful Bunker is a thing now that I think about it. So, I think what we're going to do is go Drapion. We're going to knock off to knock off its uh, Black Sludge. Because I'm going to predict a Baneful Bunker here. Watch me get this right. Watch me get this right. Most of the time, after setting up the... the, um, the I knew it. Most of the time, after setting up the Toxic Spikes, they go Baneful Bunker. So, that's why... That is exactly why I went into Drapion, and we're gonna go ahead and knock this thing's leftovers out. Baneful Bunker again, it hits. 
Can I get poison from this? I should have sword danced. Part of me wanted to sword dance too. Don't get poisoned, please. Okay, I thought so. Knockoff is still my best move because whatever he switches into is gonna lose an item. So knockoff it is. Knockoff it is. Cinder I would I would sword dance right now, but Cinderace outspeeds me, and that's a big um that's a problem for us at least. Clorox gets withdrawn. Regenerate is gonna come into play there. Cinderace comes into play this time around. Um, does Cinderace knock, uh, knock us out? I don't think so. That's a lot of damage. Life Orb for Life Orb. That's a lot of damage. Pyroball? Should I predict Pyroball? Because if that's the case, I'm not switching Ferrothorn. I'm, I'm gonna stay in. I'm staying in. I wanted to cross poison here, just to knock it out. Just to knock it out. Pyroball? It's a good thing I didn't go Ferrothorn because of that. Boom. And knocks us out. I thought so. It's a crit! I think that mattered a little bit. It must have mattered. It must have mattered. I'm gonna go Pikachu here. And we're gonna quick attack. We're gonna quick attack here. It should knock the Cinderace out. Red life, right? Yes. 20 less than 25%. Quick attack should knock out. Come on, Pikachu. Knock this thing out, please. I believe in you, little Pikachu. Come on. Come on, knock it out. Yes. Yes. Cinderace, one of the biggest threats threats in this team, gets knocked out. Now, that leaves us to switch into Rillaboom, or no, if he switches into Rillaboom, we're going Ferrothorn. What I meant to say is that that leaves us open to whatever comes in, we can go into um, Ferrothorn. And right here, this is where I'm going to predict the Bolt Beak. So we're going to go Ferrothorn here, set up the Stealth Rock. Oh, we are playing Pokemon now, my boys. Ferrothorn comes in. Hit me with that Bolt Beak. It's going to do a lot. Earthquake. That's good. That's not a bad play at all. Um, this thing does do some damage to us. So should I take the opportunity to stealth rock though? I think the answer to that is always yes. Yeah, we're gonna stealth rock. If he hits me with another earthquake, then it is what it is. I also have to try to keep Ferrothorn as healthy as possible. And you know what I was gonna do in this battle and I forgot, and well, in this video, switch the, switch my uh, ingrain for, who is this? Blissey. Okay. Um, I was gonna switch for what is that move called? I forget the name of that move. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, um, I was gonna switch this move in grain for Iron Head. That's what I was gonna do. Okay. I want to spikes, but at the same time, I want to body press. What should I do? Spikes and then body press because every bit of damage matters. Oh, I forgot about Felicity for running flamethrower. It bit me in the butt. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going Pikachu here, and I'm gonna threaten this thing with the with the Volt Tackle. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I really, I think his Dragazolt is up, but that leaves Dragazolt open for hitting me with whatever it wants to. It does. Um, I think we're gonna predict the switch here and go Iron Tail. No, I should have gone. Volt Tackle would have knocked it out. It would have knocked it out. Don't knock me out, please. Thank you. <gasps> what? You're kidding me. You are kidding me. Pikachu, no. I sound like Ash all of a sudden. Dang. That mattered a little bit. That mattered a little bit. These hacks. These hacks. Um, I'm not going Slow King, obviously. I want to go Charizard, part of me does. But there's Dragazolt in the back. We're going to go Charizard. We're going to go Charizard. We're going to try to call a game by setting up a Dragon Dance or two. Hopefully just one. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We're going to go Dragon Dance here. Go into whatever you want. Switch out. Do whatever you want. Imagine if I had Belly Drum, though. I don't think Belly Drum would be worth it, though. Belly Drum Citrus Berry. I can do that. I can do that. If I'm in the right situation, that would be pretty brutal. Especially in this right here, soft boiled. I don't care about soft boiled. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go for another Dragon Dance because of that. I'm gonna try to knock this big girl out. Dragon Dance one more time. Because this guarantees I outspeed everything in this team. And I should be able to pick up a sweep of Charizard. At least I hope, that's the plan. There you go, another Dragon Dance. That's plus two. Go soft boiled again, big girl. Thunder. <sighs> It hits me. It hits me. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. That's all I'm going to say to that. Wildfire it is. I have to wildfire here. I ain't got a choice. Ah, I really wish that that thunder missed. Am I a pl I'm a plus two now. So there's pros and cons to that. That's what I get for getting a little bit greedy, though. That's what I get. Look at Charizard. I thought it had the two. Oh, no. It has one. Th did you guys see that, or was that just me? Let me see. Oh, yeah, look. It just has one flame in the in the side of its mouth. I thought it had two for some reason. Bring the real boom in, please. If you want to bring in the toxic effects and go Baneful Bunker, I'm going to hit you with the, with the Quake. With the Max Quake. Oh, I'm a nervous boy right now. Carl comes out. Who is this, Rillaboom? Okay. We're not in the best shape in the world right now, I will admit. If he hits us with a Sucker Punch, we're probably going down. It, it's Sucker Punch. Oh, no. I lost this. I think I lost this. That's a bummer. That's a huge bummer. Now it's just like in Rock and Slow King. <laughs> this is the biggest bummer. That freeze mattered a lot. I I don't want to necessarily go Slow King. I'm gonna go Lycan Rock. Depending on what he goes into, I'm gonna go back into Slow King. All right, Lycan Rock it is. Beautiful shiny. And then we're gonna go. Should I go Close Combat? Close combat, Excel Rock. I'm gonna go close combat just cuz. If he goes into Toxapex, it goes into Toxapex. Sucker Punch hurts. That's probably choice band damage right there. And that's game because all Rillaboom has to come in and do is hit me with the Grassy Glide over and over again, and that's game. It's done. That freeze mattered. The critical hit also mattered. I'm pretty sure, at least. I'm pretty sure. And that cost us the battle. So once again, we went 1-1 in this video, technically speaking. Clown comes in. And um, he outspeeds us. He outspeeds us, and that's game. I, I have no choice but to go into close combat. This thing is going to outspeed us because of Bolt Beak. Excel Rock wouldn't have knocked out anyways, so... He had two options set winning. He could have gone into Bolt Beak, which he is do definitely doing. And he could have gone um, Grassy Glide, and that's game. Oh, that crit mattered at the beginning, and so did the um, the freeze, the Pikachu freeze. A 10% chance to do it. And then he hits me with a Thunder to follow things up. Wow. That was, um, that was kind of cheese. That was cheese. Bolt Beak is going to knock us out, guaranteed. There you go. That's a good game. That's a good game. I feel like Smash Bros. right now. When the loser's just clapping, like, it's a salty clap. That's how I feel right now. I'm going to collect your league card list. That was good. And it was a really close battle. I'm pretty sure if you didn't freeze, uh, this battle's outcome would have been a little bit closer, if not a little bit different. But it is what it is. So that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed these two Wi-Fi battles. Mostly the second one, because that was the highlight. And also, make sure you guys uh, comment your vote using hashtag MVP, most valuable Pokemon. So leave your vote down below and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.